Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This video is about creating bifolding uh, doors, and uh, we'll first go to a new family metric door and open this family. I want the width to be uh, two meters, one hundred centimeters. Okay, and. Um, I want three panels to be there, yani, uh, 70 centimeters each. Okay, so first I'll create reference planes, three reference planes. Um, I mean two because uh, the space between them will be three. Okay, and I want to make them equal in space. So I'll do this step and click equal okay and then I will go to the exterior elevation first I need to pick a plane let's pick this wall for example and create extrusion between these planes that we created and click lock to lock all the sides And then uh, offset it with 50 millimeters, which is 5 centimeters. Click inside and then uh, tap. And this is created. Uh, I want the thickness to be 100 millimeters. And I'll go back to the reference plane and move it to the middle. Let's click uh, move the constraint for now. And uh, the frame is created. I want to go back to the exterior ele elevation to check if this is still locked to the... No, it's not because I moved it and removed the constraint. So I'll uh, lock it again in order to make sure that when I change later in, uh, in my project, if I change the height, it will be automatically changed according to the height parameter that's here. That's why I'm locking it to the height parameter. Okay, and click the Okay, I'll create another extrusion inside. I'll make it uh, two centimeters. Let's look the sides first and offset it with 20 millimeters. Click inside and then tap. Click again. Okay, and I'll go to the reference plane. I want this to be uh, 50 millimeters and again I do the same thing I'll move it to the middle and lock it with this and it's created I'll do the same thing for the uh, height so I move it and move it back to the edge, which is here, yes. and tick. And the last thing uh, which is left is the glass panel, because a uh, bifolding door uh, with aluminum frame and a glass panel. Okay, so uh, I'll create the extrusion and go back to the elevation and create extrusion for the panel. Okay, and I lock them. Tick. And then the same thing. Okay. And I'll go to the exterior. And okay, lock it. And we're done. Now uh, that we gave uh, dimension parameters for the height we want also to give um, material parameters okay now I'm selecting the, the cla uh, glass so I'll add a parameter and name it glass panel make it instance and click OK 
later in your project after you imported inside you can change the material but now I'm just giving parameters and I'll select these both uh, frames and add another parameter call it frame and instance okay 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 now I've created one uh, panel and it's still not fold not folded but I'll show you how first we need to okay first we need to uh, copy it we want three panels here mm -hmm. okay now we have these panels and in this situation uh, this uh, this situation is where the uh, by folding door is closed so we will add a parameter which is called visibility parameter for the closed situation of this door okay I'm selecting um, these panels and I'll go to this uh, graphics thingy and click on this box add parameter and uh, choose visibility and instance also and name it as closed okay okay I'll show you later why we're doing this okay now uh, the other situation when it's completely open I want to select one panel okay and copy it up okay, here for example and I want to rotate it let's put it here okay and be of it another one And this will be the open situation. First, I'll make it as a group because now we will have uh, overlapping elements, so uh, it's easier to move it. I call it this puppet. Okay. And um, we'll go inside the group and select everything. I'll go to the visibility parameter. Add another parameter called open. Okay, make it instance and make sure you select visibility here. Okay, and finish the group. Let's move it down where it should be. It should be here. Okay, so in this case, this case is closed, this case is completely open. Uh, we want to show another case when the, uh, the panels are partially open with a 45 degree angle we can do this by copying this panel okay let's copy it here and rotate it with 45 45 and we want this to be mirrored Okay, we'll select we will select all the panels and go to the visibility Let's add parameter another parameter visibility okay open 45 which is which means the 45 degree open okay and uh, I will put it inside a group call it 45 for example and move it the right place which is here mm -hmm. now in this case your your any all the, the situations are there but in the project you can control this and I'll show you how first we need to load it uh, let's create a new project okay. and draw a wall I'll go back and load my family which is okay. load into project I'll select this project 
and my family is not my family but I mean this family is here okay now let's add it to the store to this wall I mean let's add it and all the elements are there but, and okay I'll make multiple copies to show you the idea okay, one here another one here okay I want this to be totally closed so what I do is I go to the properties tab and here you can see in the visibility and if you don't see this go to the edit tab and so you'll see it I want this to be totally closed so I'll uncheck all the open uh, parameters and I, as you can see it's closed here I want it to be partially open I'll just check the open 45 degrees and as you can see it's just this one okay the same thing here I'll make it totally open okay and uh, let's go to the 3d view of course you can give parameters you can sorry give materials to your uh, it's outside yes it's here materials you can give a, a material from here because it's instance we you remember we selected instance that's why it's here if you uh, didn't select instance all the doors will have the same material for example and if you made any change all the doors will be changed unless you duplicate the family. So here we selected the glass panel. Let's look for glass. This one. And I want the frame to be aluminium, for example. Aluminium. This one. Okay, I'll make it realistic to see the materials. And as you can see, Here's the bifolding door. Only the materials of this door uh, have been changed because this is instance and I changed the material of this only. If I want to change these materials, I have to select them and uh, you can select multiple elements and change the materials directly. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and it was hel helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments. Thank you.